Hey everyone, we're out here on this Sturgeon Bay, the uh, home of a big, big smallmouth. Um, unfortunately, we haven't found anything yet. Uh, today's practice day. We are here for the Great Lakes Kayak Fishing Series. That's a mouthful. Tournament um, came in early this morning, left about midnight. And we're kind of going to do like a, a vlog style. Um, I keep everyone posted, obviously. Uh, and you know, um, we're just searching for for some shower fish. We're believing to think that there is a spawners on this lake. So we're kind of searching for structure, and I just see my head moving and looking for small models. Um, and yeah. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe, obviously, and be sure to visit this place. This place is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, let's hopefully cut to some smallmouth action. Alright everyone, a uh, little bit of an update. We left the place we were fishing um, when we were pre-fishing today. Uh, right now, heading out to lunch. We're a couple of the guys from Great Lakes, and uh, we spotted some areas, spotted some fish. Obviously, we're not trying to hook them today. Today's practice day. Today's figuring out kind of what the fish are doing. And um, you know, it's, tomorrow's the day to hook as many fish as you possibly can be in a one-day tournament. And put as much inches as you can on the board. Um, Right, as of right now, I'm still saying it's gonna take 100 inches to win this, win this right out. You know, around that 95 to 99 inch range. Last weekend, another kayak tournament was won with 99 inches, I do believe. And uh, so I'm kind of guessing it's about, about kind of gonna be the same, especially with the anglers that fish in this uh, series. A ton of people who are experienced. A ton of people who know what they're doing, especially in the Wisconsin waters. But um, if there's any other updates for today, I will obviously clip it and you guys will see about it. If not, we uh, will go right into tournament morning. We got an area to start with. Right now, we're right after lunch. We're going to look for secondary areas, possibly a a third area just in case the first one doesn't work out like we're thinking it's gonna work out and this is kind of kayak fishing you know this is this is pre-fishing for kayak tournaments it's a lot of driving not a ton of fishing especially on big lakes like this we're technically on Lake Michigan right now even though the tournament says Sturgeon Bay we, uh, we're open to all of Lake Michigan so we're going up and down hour drives back and forth trying to figure out areas and spots and where we kind of want to game plan for tomorrow and i keep saying we because i am with a group and we are kind of helping each other out not necessarily working together obviously it's a single person tournament but bouncing ideas off of each other's and spots so <clears throat> um that's all i gotta say for now you know um Hopefully this food's good. Gas is definitely cheaper out here by a dollar. So, life's pretty good right now. And I will talk to you guys later. Alright, end of practice day one. We just hooked into this has to be four or five pound smallmouth. I like to tackle smash the spinner bait uh, just let him kind of rest in the net and rest up before I let him back go and here's the release hi right, everyone it's about five minutes before actual lunch time Made it to one of the, I don't even know what this launch is called, but it's right off of where we were camping. The launch 
about five minute drive from our actual campsite which was actually absolutely beautiful um but it's tournament morning we're ready to go we got a good night's sleep we didn't have to wake up all that early it's uh it's gonna be a battle but it's gonna be fun we just need five of the right ones i ended up practice yesterday did us some good found some bed fish we're just gonna make sure they're still there today and uh it's a chilly morning so let's uh let's get ready to do this forgot the gopro um memory card so don't know how much i'm actually gonna be filming during the tournament but we'll definitely check in periodically uh let's do this all right here we are public launch only one here that might be a good sign or a bad thing all right everyone we got a few minutes about eight minutes until first cast we're already in our first spot um and it's just absolutely beautiful out here man and by the looks of it i'm i got this spot pretty much to myself um so we're fixing oh camera's not even on me we're fixing to do some damage hopefully unless these fish move out of this area it should be a fun time you know i caught definitely could be a five pounder obviously you guys see me in the video already you let me know if you think that fish was a five pounder i for sure think it was between the range of 18 to 20 i didn't when i went out yesterday to scope this spot i had just some rods and one tackle box and nothing else so i really didn't have anything to measure it with but as the bugs start to pile on top of me we're gonna we're just gonna go out here and enjoy our last day here this place is absolutely beautiful if you haven't came out to sturgeon bay you definitely need to it's a huge huge water you know there's people that are 45 minutes up the road and it's still sturgeon bay and there's places an hour out that's still sturgeon bay there's plenty of fishing areas plenty of ways to find these huge smallmouth there's a reason why they call it smallmouth heaven and uh it shows it shows i haven't seen really that that many small fish at all all right everyone we got us a 15 uh, about to release all right everyone uh tournament's officially over we're on our way back to the launch uh we did not get a limit today and uh yeah i mean we had the opportunities of course you know but when i get to a quieter less windier place i kind of go through everything and everything that i threw this weekend to have the success that i had so see you guys about two seconds Uh, on our way home from the tournament, well, on our way home from dropping the kayak off, <sighs> gotta take a deep breath. I uh, had about four hours to think about all the decisions that were made today. Uh, we ended up with three fish total for a uh, total of 49 inches, and uh, yeah, clearly, you know, on Sturgeon Bay that's clearly not gonna cut it. Uh, it was definitely a bed fishing deal. You know, pitching the bed for big smallmouth. Uh, so, and uh, I found tons and tons of beds, tons and tons of smallmouth. You know, that wasn't the issue, the, you know, the game plan uh, went as far as the spots I wanted to fish went perfectly, but the, but as the wind picked up and not being used to that, uh, not being used to um, targeting those fish like that, you know where it's you, you throw in the spot and it has to sit there for a couple minutes with the waves being the way they were, 
I'm not used to fishing like that, and obviously it's not an excuse. Everyone, you know, I was going fishing out there. Everyone else around me was catching and hooking into them. I hooked into a few. Uh, but it's just, it's, it's not tough fishing, but it's a different experience out there. And Great Lakes smallmouth fishing in general is like a, it's a whole new ball game and a brand new experience to me, you know. It's, it's not your typical largemouth fishing that, I'm, that you guys see me do all the time. It's, and it's definitely not a river smallmouth type of deal. Another thing that I like doing, it's, um, it's a tough, tough place when you've never fished it before and you've never been out there. I feel like I executed Sounds pretty good. pretty well. Other than being able to have my motor stay stay on the fish long enough to get him to bite. If I could do the winch, I did as soon as the wind calmed down some and I was able to have uh, have that bait sit up there for a couple minutes. I ended up catching him. Ended up well, Yeah, I ended up catching him. And uh I forgot the memory card for the GoPro. So, it's a mistake by me.